Here is a very good thinking and communication problem from the book. It says a chord joins any two points A and B on a parabola whose equation is y square equals to 4x. If C is the midpoint of AB and CD is drawn parallel to the x-axis to meet the parabola at D, prove that the tangent at D is parallel to the chord AB. So let's try to sketch this and understand what the question is talking about. So let me make one sketch here, kind of a rough sketch. Now what do we have? What we have here is an equation of a parabola which is y square equals to 4x. Now if y square is 4x, then what is y equals to? So y equals to plus minus square root of 4x, correct? So, which is plus minus 2 square root of x. That is what we have. So, basically, we have a square root function which is stretched and it is on both sides, right? So, it is a relation. So, let's sketch this kind of a function. So, it's a square root stretch thing, right, on the top. And same thing here at the bottom, right? So, this is our function and that's a parabola. y square equals to 4x. Now what next? It says a chord joins any two points A, B on the parabola. So let's take a chord here and let's just join it. Let's say this is a chord and let's join it and it has two points where it cuts the graph and these two points are A and B. That's what it says. Now it says if C is the midpoint of A, B and C, D is drawn parallel to X axis. So Let's figure out some midpoint. Somewhere here could be a midpoint. Okay. C, this point is C for us. And CD is drawn parallel to X axis to meet the parabola at D. Okay. So let's draw a parallel line from here to meet the parabola at D. So parallel line will be like this. And it meets parabola at D. That's what it is. Prove that the tangent at D is parallel to the chord AB. That means if this is the chord, then if I draw a tangent here, it should be parallel to this line. That is what we need to prove. Okay, so we have understood the problem. Now let's go ahead and do some more thinking about how to get this solution. Now, so we are given a parabola which is y square equals to 4x, so y equals to plus minus 2 square root x. Okay, so let's say the point A has x coordinate of A. In that case, the point A can be written as, so we are assuming this to be on the positive side, so it is 2. x is A for us, so, okay, so we'll write here. So coordinates for A will be, we are assuming A as the x point, right? So A for the x point, so y coordinate will be plus 2 square root A. How about point B? Now point B, let's say x value is B, then the y coordinate will be 2 square root B. I know it looks like negative, but we'll take all positive and see what really it is. Okay, we're taking positive at present. The y value I mean to say. Okay. Now, because I could have selected this point here also. Do you see that? So it is just a general point. Now midpoint C will be what? Midpoint is average of these two values. So average of this will be a plus b over 2. That's the x-coordinate for c. And the y-coordinate will be average of these two. That means square root a plus square root b, right? Well, divide by 2, multiply by 2, cancel. So that, that is what we get, the y-coordinate for c. Good. Now we got all this. Now from here, what is the slope of AB? Let's find that out, right? So slope of AB, so we say slope M of AB is equals to what? Slope of AB is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 gives us a slope. Good. So we'll write this as 2 square root A minus 2 square root B that is difference of y values divided by a minus b. Difference of x values. Good. 
So we get this expression as 2, 2 will be taken common and then we have 2 times within brackets square root of a minus square root of b over a minus b. So that becomes the slope for us, right? The, so we get the slope of the line, secant line AB, and we need to prove that the slope at point D is same as this. Now, what is the slope at D? Now, to find slope at D, what we can do is we'll work with our equation. So the equation given to us is y square equals to 4x. So we can find derivative with respect to x. So we get 2y dy dx equals to 4. And so we get dy dx equals to 4 divided by 2y, which is equal to, so the value of y is actually equals to, the value same as c, because the y values of c and d are same, they are parallel lines. It is square root a plus square root b. So I can write this as square root a plus square root b. So that is the slope at the point d on the curve. Now what we found earlier was this. Now we can actually factor this and and then write down as this also. Both are equivalent, right? How? What is MAB? So we have an expression of MAB equals to 2 times square root A minus square root B. And the denominator is A minus B. So this A minus B could be written as square root A plus square root B times square root a minus square root b. Do you see that? So now they cancel out and so we have the same expression which is 2 over square root a plus square root b. Do you see that? So this and this both are same. So what we find that the slope of line a b which is given here which is actually equal to 2 over square root a plus square root b. So once we factor this with difference of squares, right? Let me write it again here for you. a minus b is equals to square root a plus square root b times square root a minus square root b, right? So once I write that, these two factors cancelled out, we are left with 2 over square root a plus b. So they are equal, right? So that is how we can show that the slope of this line AB is the same as the tangent at D, right? So this is extremely interesting question and a lot of geometry is involved in this. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.